Hello, my name is Rainer Grüninger, Application Engineer at Kübler, and today I like to show you how easy it is to operate and program Preset Counter Codex 560. The product is delivered in this packaging. The display is mounted to the front panel using the supplied mounting bracket. The programming manual delivered with the Codex 560 supports you step by step in programming the Codex 560. All four functions, counter, position, display and tachometer, time counter of the multifunction counter are listed with the associated selection options and the more detailed descriptions. In addition, the required next button selection is displayed. Now you will learn step by step how to program the Codex 560. Note, while the counter is in programming mode, no counting pulses, frequencies or times are detected and measured. Please note that when you exit programming mode, the counter contents are reset. Press the up and down keys simultaneously for three seconds to enter the programming mode. The display alternately shows the description prog and the confirmation prompt no. By pressing the enter key, you can exit programming again. To enter the main menu, press one of the up or down keys to change the confirmation prompt from no to yes and confirm the entry with the Enter key. The first menu item in the main menu appears in the display. The up and down keys can be used to navigate through the main menu. LED 1 indicates your current position, the main menu. To access the submenus, press the Enter key when the respective main menu item is selected. In the submenu, you can navigate between the various menu items using the right and left keys. LED 2 indicates that you are currently in a submenu. The selected menu item and the currently set parameter value are flashing alternately in the display. To return to the main menu, press the left key several times until only LED 1 lights up. In the first main menu item, the help text, which provides support and programming as a ticker, can be switched on and off. In addition, the menu languages, German and English, are available for the help text. By pressing the Enter key in the respective submenu, the parameter value can be changed. Use the up or down keys to navigate through the available parameters and confirm the desired parameter with the Enter key. Use the right or left key to select the decade. The selected decade flashes. Use the keys up or down to change the numerical value. To confirm the new numerical value, press the Enter key. In the main menu, navigate to the last menu item, End, Prog. The display alternately shows the description End, Prog, and the confirmation prompt No. To remain in programming mode, confirm the parameter value No with the Enter key. You will now return to the first main menu item. The previously set values are retained and can be adjusted or changed again. To exit the programming mode, press one of the up or down keys to change the confirmation prompt from no to yes and confirm the entry with the enter key. The change settings are stored in the II prom. The text save appears in the display for two seconds.
By pressing the up or down keys once during operation, the currently selected display function appears in the display for two seconds. If the up or down keys are pressed a second time within these two seconds, the display switches to the next or previous display function. While operating, select the desired display function PRES1 or PRES2 to change the corresponding preset. Use the right and left keys to select the respective decade. The selected decade flashes. With the up or down keys, the respective numerical value can be set. The selected setting is accepted by pressing the Enter key or automatically after two seconds. Three parameter sets are permanently stored, which can be selected and adjusted as required. To access the default menu for selecting the stored parameter sets, press the left and right keys simultaneously for three seconds. The display alternately shows the description Default and the confirmation prompt No. The default menu can be left again by pressing the Enter key. To return to the default menu, press one of the up or down keys to change the security prompt from no to yes and confirm the entry with the enter key. The display alternately shows the description default and the last parameter set. Press the enter key again. The various parameter sets can now be selected with the up or down keys. By pressing the Enter key, the current selection is accepted and the text Save appears in the display for two seconds. The display then automatically switches back to the operating mode. As you can see, our Codex 560 has many functions and is easy to program using instruction manual and display help text. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again in the next tutorial. Your Rainer Gröninger.